Hey, Shay. Welcome back. We're doing another collective. Okay. Welcome back to the Healing Circle. Using the Moonology Manifestation deck again. Okay. I like this deck. <laughs> so let's see um, what we have for the collective today. It doesn't have to necessarily be today. It's for whenever you receive the message. All right. And if the reading does not resonate, don't try to make it. All right. All right. All right. Holy Spirit, angels in heaven, what is the message for the collective today? Got my palisanto burning. See the fog? You see? All right. Holy Spirit, angels in heaven, what do we have for the collective? Please make it clear. Let's see if it come out. I want, I want to see if it pop. Let's see. You saw it? Okay. That's the message. All right. <laughs> so, it says, full moon in Aries, cool your emotions. Okay? Aries energy can definitely be a little fiery. You guys are spicy sauce. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> and first quarter moon in Virgo, assess the situation. Okay? So, cool your emotions. Okay, really assess the situation before you go off, all right, because, or the reason why, or the past energy that is, you know, bringing this about is honor your feelings, okay, honor your feelings, all right, so spirit wants you to cool your emotions, really assess the situation, because spirit wants you to honor your feelings, okay? Really check into how you feel about this, okay? I'm calling you. All right, here we go. Mm. You know how um, on Blue Schools, they be like, yeah, the trusty handy notebook. I need mean, my glasses. It's like my trusty notebook. <laughs> it was like my glasses. It's like a tool that I need for sure. All right, full moon in Aries. Where is it? There it is. Cool your emotions. Are you in the middle of an argument or perhaps in the mood to pick an argument? Surely not. Or are you being overly forward? This is a time of heated emotions and frayed tempers. Anger is better than despair. As Abraham Hicks taught us, because anger spares us on to do something. But you may be better, you may get better results if you master your emotions. Certainly avoid stirring the pot or it could boil over. Cooling your emotions and being the peacemaker means you'll attract a more peaceful outcome. Okay. The manifesting mindset message says there's no point in pretending that you don't have intense feelings as this blocks your manifesting powers. You need to work through your feelings by thinking of the people involved or forgiving yourself, okay? There's no point in pretending it's not there. Spirit wants you to honor your feelings. That's this message. So with cool your emotions, you could be going through an argument with someone or whatever. We're going to clarify the message and see. But the manifestation message says there's no point in pretending that you don't have feelings. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. No, I'm going to use this one. I pulled this deck out for a reason. Now that I'm back in my original space, I can use all of my tarot cards now. They're all here. And they're like, you haven't used me in a minute. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> cards are talking to me. They're like, use me. All right. <laughs> for the collective spirit. All right. Well, why is cool your emotions here? Okay. For the collective. Why is cool your emotions here? For the collective. Please make it clear, Spirit. Thank you. The King of Cups. You have a whole lot of emotions. Okay? And you try to act like they're not there. You hold them back, okay, with the Four of Pentacles. You hold them back. You hold back on them. You got a whole lot of emotion. You feel a lot. You feel all the feelings. Okay? Yes, 
you try to have, but okay, but you know, um, you know, it's not good for you to go back and forth. It's not doing you any benefit with the ace of swords and the devil and Jesus. Like, you know, this ain't good. Okay. Two of pentacles behind that is making you, um, is leaving you on the fence. It's, you know, it's not helping you at all. Okay. All right, cool. Why is cool your emotions there for the collective? You got a whole lot of emotion. Okay. Ace of swords and the devil. Okay. And you know, it's not good for you to suppress it. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're procrastinating on taking a leap of faith. You're procrastinating on maybe going after something new because you're trying to suppress your emotions, okay? With the judgment energy and the emperor, okay? This is something you need to take control of, emperor energy, okay? So that you can make a judgment, okay? This is why spirit wants you to honor your emotions, okay? Because you have a whole lot of them, okay? The ace of swords and a judgment and saying, you know you have a, dis a judgment to make, a decision to make. You... Um, and you know what decision to make, okay, with the King of Cups there, okay? It's like tap into your emotions because then you'll be able to make a judgment. This was kind of saying that yesterday as far as like you recognizing why you may be holding your feelings back. Okay, if you acknowledge that you have a reason why you're holding your feelings back, then you'll be actually able to make a decision, okay? Yeah. Take control over that. Okay, with the emperor energy. So you can communicate whatever it is that you're stressing about. It's burdening you. Don't try to act like it ain't affecting you. It is. Okay. All right. Spirit wants you to assess the situation. Okay. Really look at it. All right. First quarter moon in Virgo. Says this. Stop, breathe, and take stock. Perhaps you've taken on too much. Now is the time to be reliable and practical. Laziness is your enemy. Also, don't be too influenced by the crowd. It literally has it in quotes. And what they're saying. Do you still want what you used to want? And as much? If so... Are you really doing what needs to be done to make your dreams real? Express how you feel, but do, do it without too much self-criticism or criticism of others. Make an honest inventory about where you could go, okay? About where you could do more to manifest your dreams. Make an honest inventory about where you could do more to manifest your dreams. The manifesting mindset says, this card asks you to be mentally flexible. Whatever challenges you face, your current situation is unlikely to be a total impasse, okay? So be a little bit flexible, all right? Like it's not as difficult or problematic as you may think or as it may seem okay for the collective spirit mm -hmm. you need to communicate it all right um don't try to act like you don't feel how you feel you do okay acknowledge it with the ace of swords energy so that you can make the judgments and decisions you need to okay why is assess the situation here for the collective Don't worry about the crowd. Screw them. Okay. That's the one thing I hate. I'm, I'm not going to make my decisions off of other people because you don't know what decisions other people are making for real, for real. Okay. And be the main people to be like, don't do that. I would never. That will. <laughs> Assess the situation. Miss. The nine of wands energy. You have been through the ringer. Okay. And with the knight of cups energy and the sun card you may want to um with the knight of cups energy give yourself emotionally express yourself emotionally put yourself out there towards something that's going to bring you joy and happiness and fulfillment okay yeah ace of wands energy right behind that right but you got to do something about it and with the nine of wands energy something's wearing you down 
assess the situation. Is it, yeah, is it is it the best for you, okay? With the Five of Cups energy, this is how you're feeling. Sad, blown, boots, dissatisfied, okay? The Empress and the Ace of Pentacles. There is another opportunity. An opportunity for progress, an opportunity for growth and expansion, something solid with the Ace of Pentacles. But you're stagnating towards it. Knight of Pentacles, you're not moving. All right? You're not moving at all. Yeah, he's just sitting there with the Pentacle. Like the offer there, but he's just sitting there with the Pentacle. You see him? Not moving. Just sitting. Okay? Because you got too much on you. So. Is this really helping you? Is this, you know? Because the Ace of Swords and the Devil was here. It's like, you know something, you know? Okay? <laughs> really assess the situation, okay? Because it's draining the fuck out of you, Nine of Wands. And you're very unhappy, okay? The Hierophant Energy. The Two of Cups. Six of Pentacles. This can be a commitment. This can be something that you have committed yourself to. This can be a collaboration or union of some kind that you are giving yourself to. Your energy, your time. Six of Pentacles. Okay. The Moon, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups is saying... What you are suppressing, moon energy, is that you want to put your work, energy, effort towards what it is that you want, nine of cups. This is personal satisfaction and fulfillment. This is about work and effort. This is about suppression. So you are suppressing your emotions when it comes to what it is you want to put your effort towards that is going to fulfill you. Okay? All right. So really assess the situation. Is it doing you any justice? Don't look like it. Okay? Spirit wants you to honor your feelings. Because that does matter. Okay? Mm -hmm. First quarter moon in Pisces. Alright. It says this. Are you putting on a good front? Acting like you're bright and breezy, but hiding your real feelings. Rather than acting as though everything is fine, if you're worried about certain issues, it's best to deal with them. Avoid getting so wrapped up in your feelings that you're overwhelmed, that you overwhelm yourself and everyone else involved in a situation. If you deny your feelings, you'll go nowhere fast with your manifesting. Look at the big picture and use your intuition. Avoid blowing and upset and avoid blowing and upset out of proportion. Okay. Avoid blowing and upset out of proportion. You may think that something's gonna be the outcome of something's gonna be bigger than what it is. Okay, it's like you're blowing and upset out of proportion. Like if I do this, it's gonna, you know, make people feel this way and it's gonna create this whole huge, you know, outcome. And it, it might it might not be. And that kind of came up in this message as well. It's like, you know, don't make things bigger than what they are. Okay. Because the manifest state manifesting mindset says you're being asked to feel all your feelings. Making light of your emotions now isn't recommended. Remember, we create with our emotions. Okay. So how uh, spirit wants you to honor really how you feeling. Okay. Really, how are you feeling in the situation? Because that will be the best thing to use so that you can make proper decisions. Honor your feelings for the collective. Please make it clear. You're tired of being unhappy doing what you feel like others may want you to do 
okay? With the Wheel of Fortune energy here and Chariot, it's time to move on, babe. You can't make this up. Tarot 101. The Wheel of Fortune is about divine timing, okay? Spirit is saying it's a major arcana. Wheel of Fortune is a major arcana. Spirit is saying it is time, okay? It is time to move on with the Chariot energy. It's time to move forward in the direction that you are meant to go, okay? You're moving towards what makes you the best, you, okay? You are resisting because of this unhealthy attachment. Let it go. Ace of Swords and the Devil. Spirit's like, you know it ain't right. You know it ain't good. And you tired, and you tired of being unhappy, and you tired of being unhappy, and you know, because of some commitments that you are committing yourself to or expectation. The higher energy doesn't have to be merged and stuff like that. It's an expectation from others. Customs, traditions, it's just the way things are done. But you you tired of being unhappy. Spirit wants you to honor your feelings. Life is not meant for you to live it for other people. Life is meant for you to live it in your best. Okay? Your best. Your best. You got to live it. Okay? You are resisting because of this unhealthy attachment. Okay? And you keep going back and forth, going back and forth, going back and forth with, with whether you should put your effort, Eight of Pentacles, into what it is that you want, Nine of Cups. Because it's some type of unhealthy attachment. Okay? Like, Spirit's like, listen, it is time. Clarify. Honor your feelings for the collective. Yes. Take the leap of faith. Full energy. Okay? It is time. Yes. Speak how you feel. Okay? With the Page of Cups, this can be apologizing. This can be like just... You know, expressing how you feel emotionally, okay? With the Page of Pentacles, this is like making an offer or receiving one, more so making one, okay? And with the King of Swords, okay, and the Queen of Pentacles, okay, and make this could be someone that you are financially tied to, okay? But it doesn't have to necessarily be that. It's about speaking your truth and making decisions when it comes to like your stability, partnerships, who you collaborate with, who you connect yourself to. Okay, are you connecting yourself to people that are draining you financially, draining you energetically because of some expectation? No, you can connect yourself to people that's going to actually help you grow and expand into what you really want. Okay, that, that didn't come out the way I wanted to. Let me do another shot. Okay, clarify, honor your feelings. It's time to take a leap, it's time to. Um, step out on faith. It's time to do what it is is in the best interest of you. It's time for you to be happy and fulfilled. You're tired of being unhappy. Nine of Wands and Five of Cups. Tired of being in that state. Following other people's expectations. Yep. The devil energy and the two of pentacles. That's what's making you indecisive. Okay. The honor your feelings card is clarified by the will of fortune, the fool, and the devil. It's time to take a leap of faith. This devil energy, this unhealthy attachment is making you indecisive. It's making you juggle. It's making you do a whole lot. You're tired of being sad. You're tired of being dissatisfied. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we. Listen, it's making you indecisive, right? Here you go. It's time for you to increase your efforts, right? You got to change how you how you uh, are going about things. Let's say it's time for you to change your efforts. What are you putting your um, effort towards, okay? Because you know, page of swords, it's like I know, okay? You're waiting, three of wands, just waiting and waiting and waiting, Okay? To walk away from a situation, leave the past behind, right? Because you're stuck in your head, feeling restricted, feeling bound, feeling controlled, feeling limited. But the Eight of Swords energy is self imposed restriction. She can totally get out of that confinement, that trap, 
Nothing is holding her. Okay? You can totally get out of this. You are creating this restriction in your mind because of these expectations. Or catastrophizing. Like the message said, don't make the out the upset bigger than what it is. It's, you know. Are you making it bigger than what it is? Possibly. Let's clarify what this commitment could be. With the Hierophant energy. You know, and you get these type of messages. You might be like, well, why is, why is Spirit even giving me this type of message? Because Spirit wants the best for you. Okay? Your Spirit guides, Holy Spirit, angels in heaven, Jesus, um, whatever higher order or whatever um higher power you acknowledge okay wants the best for you and if you're in a situation that is not producing the best spirit will give you every notification message alert uh symbolism synchronicity possible to get you to see that a change is needed whether it's a song that comes on the radio, a message that you hear, a text you get from a friend, a notice you see on a bus, something that comes in the mail, an email, a meme, whatever it is, my video, whatever that comes across your lap, Spirit will use that tool to get the message to you so that you can know that things need to change for your highest good. Okay? Okay. All right. Clarify this higher for energy. What is this higher for energy for the collective? You tired of being unhappy, and 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 when you, if you tired of being unhappy, you unconsciously pray to spirit, like God, I'm tired of dealing with this shit. Oh my God, this is blowing me. Like I just need a break. Okay, these are prayers. Spirit hears you. And spirit is like, okay, I got you. And also, spirit sees what you don't see. So a lot of times, spirit will intervene because spirit sees what you don't see. That they're playing you. That they're using you. That they have no intention of. Or whatever. Clarify the hierarchy. Hmm. The two of wands and the seven of swords. Yeah, okay. Whatever this hierarchy energy is, whether it's a you know religious expectation, whether it's a community expectation, whether it's a, um, a way of doing things, it's negatively impacting your choices, two of wands, okay? It's making you not trust yourself, okay? It's making you not trust your decision-making, okay? It's a burden, ten of wands, all right? It's making you mentally conflicted, five of swords, okay? It's creating burdens for you. All right? Yeah. It's causing you to avoid change. Two of swords in the tower is avoiding upset, avoiding uh, letting something fall, avoiding releasing something, okay? Avoiding ending something, avoiding change. The tower is allowing things to crumble and fall so that something else can be rebuilt that is more stable. The tower happens when something is not built on solid ground. When it's not doing you justice. Okay? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, listen. Avoiding two of swords. The tower. Right? Okay. That needs to end with the universe card. This is the world card. That needs to end. Right? You are resisting because you don't want to upset five of cups this devil energy okay but listen spirit said it's justice okay because it's stressing you out nine of souls okay you want the ten of pentacles long term something solid something fulfilled but you fear moon energy or suppress that because of conflict five of wands this can be with a mother figure, empress energy. 
This ain't even got to be your baby mama. This can be your actual mama. This can be a, the matriarch of the family. This can be uh, the mother of the church. This can be uh, the, the, the leader of your department. This can be, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to upset somebody. <laughs> Spirit's like, get this devil out of here. <laughs> Please. It is impacting your choices. You don't, you don't feel confident in making your own choices. Okay. I had to release that energy. Okay. Okay. So spirit. If the collective actually listened to your advice, okay? Listen to your suggestion and follow through with honoring their feelings. Okay. What would be the potential outcome? Watch it. It's been accurate each time. What would be the potential outcome if the collective five cups? Okay. That's sadness. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. This says you've been thinking a lot about all of what you got going on, the burden, the difficulty, you know, you have, you know, Ten of Cups, okay? With this, like, um, the Ten of Cups is an illusion, okay? This uh, illusion from your past, okay? Let's clarify this Five of Cups. If this is the potential outcome, don't use that one, okay? If this is the potential outcome, if you actually listen to the recommendation, let's see what happens to this sadness, this disappointment, this oh this is blowing me feeling right because the nine of wands and the five of cups says you're tired of being disappointed you're tired of being sad you're tired of being in this energy let's see what happens to this five of cups what happens to this five of cups if the collective listens to the recommendation spirit please make it clear what happens to this five of cups okay you rebuild three of pentacles okay You've been thinking a lot, progressing a situation forward, okay? Thinking a lot about um, progression, moving a situation, right? But you're waiting because of a tower. Spirit's like, you need to make a judgment, all right? So what happens to this disappointment? You rebuild yourself. You rebuild your finances. You rebuild yourself, okay? In whatever way, all right? If you've been sad, if you've been, you know, whatever it is. You rebuild your feelings. You rebuild yourself. Clarify this five of cups. Okay. Nine of cups. You get what it is that you want. Okay. You think you get what it is that you want. Right. You've been thinking about it. Okay. You've been thinking about progressing the situation forward. Right. But you're pushing it away. Nine of cups. Right. Yeah. One more. If the collective listens to your suggestion, spirit. What happens to this five of cups? You rebuild. You get what it is that you ultimately want and desire, nine of cups. And what else? You make a decision that you currently don't trust making. King of swords, seven of swords. Mm -hmm. We already clarified the hierophant energy. This hierophant energy is an expectation, right? In whatever way. Spiritually, socially, the familial ties, the way things are done, whatever. It's impacting you being able to confidently make choices for yourself. Okay? So, if you listen to the recommendation that Spirit has laid out here, this sadness goes away. You rebuild with the Three of Pentacles. You get what it is you want, Nine of Cups. Are you able to make confident decisions that you currently don't trust making? And that's what I have for you, Should I hope this helped. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Please like. Hit the like button. Stay on there. Comment. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Share. Send it to your friends. Post it to social media. And subscribe so that you know when I post.
Miss you guys already. Bye.